Perry, Oklahoma. Perry is a city in, and county seat of, Noble County, Oklahoma, United States. As of the 2010 census, the city population was 5,126, a 2.0% decrease from 5,230 at the 2000 census. The city is arguably best known as the birthplace of Ditchwich construction equipment, and for its decades-long excellence in high school wrestling. The Treaty of New Dakota, May 23, 1836, assigned the Cherokee outlet to the Cherokees as a perpetual outlet to use for passage to travel and hunt in the west from their reservation in the eastern part of what became Oklahoma. This was in addition to the land given to the Cherokees for settlement after their arrival from their home in Georgia. Perry's original name was Wharton, the name of a train station built in 1886 by the Southern Kansas Railway, part of the Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe Railway system, about one mile south of the present city and it was located within the outlet. Before the 1893 Cherokee outlet opening, the U.S. government selected a site a mile north of Wharton for a land office. A town around the office was named after J.A. Perry, a man sent by the government to lay out land office towns. Perry later became one of the township location commissioners. Noble County, then known as County P, was named after John Willett Noble of St. Louis, the Interior Secretary for President William Henry Harrison. The Dalton Gang, which at that time included Bob Dalton, Emmett Dalton, Charlie Bryant and George Newcomb entered Wharton to rob a train in May 1891 earning $1,745. Shortly after the robbery, Bryant fell ill and was taken to Hennessy to see a doctor. After being spotted and arrested by Deputy Marshal Ed Short. During an escape attempt Bryant and Short would kill each other. Among those within the boundary of the strip prior to the opening, were the notorious Bill Doolin gang. A Santa Fe train was robbed at Wharton before the opening and the gang escaped into Osage County. U.S. Marshal E.D. Nixon 100 deputies were commissioned to police the area in Key Porter. At noon on September 16, 1893, a run for land within the Strip was opened. An estimated 100,000 men, women, and children took part and by nightfall 40,000 had erected tents in Perry. Jack Tierney started at the county line and reached Perry within 31 minutes. By 4 p.m. he had erected and opened the Bluebell Saloon selling beer the first day for $1 a bottle, due to the scarcity of water. He would sell 38,000 glasses. Named Hell's Half Acre, the original town's perimeter included A and F Streets and 1st and 9th Streets. About 110 saloons and gambling houses were in operation with many of them set up half block east of the east side of the now existing square. Perry Incorporated on September 20, 1893. In 1902, Carl Malzahn, a German immigrant, moved to Perry and opened the Malzahn blacksmith shop with his sons, Charles, Charlie and Gus. The sons took over the business in 1913 and renamed it Malzahn Brothers General Blacksmithing, specializing in repairing equipment for the nearby oil fields. After Gus died in 1928, the surviving brother renamed the business, Charlie's Machine Shop. Charlie's son, Ed, a mechanical engineer, joined the business in 1944. Ed noticed a need for a machine to replace hand-digging trenches for the installation of residential utility lines, and set to work developing such a device. By 1948, he had a successful device, a compact trencher, which he called the Ditchwich. Soon, Ditchwich became a successful company, wholly owned by the now-renamed Charles Machine Works Company. It has grown into the largest employer in Perry and in Noble County, employing approximately 1,300 people. Timothy McVeigh was stopped on April 19, 1995, along Interstate 35 outside of Perry by Oklahoma Highway Patrol Trooper Charlie Hanger. Trooper Hanger had passed McVeigh's yellow 1977 Mercury Marquis and noticed it had no license plate. He arrested McVeigh for carrying a loaded firearm. Three days later, while still in jail, McVeigh was identified as the subject of the nationwide manhunt. Perry moved from a strong mayor form of government to a home rule charter. The town is in the process of transitioning to a city manager. It is the smallest town in Oklahoma with a daily newspaper. Perry is located at 36.291424, minus 97.291144. It is north of Oklahoma City. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which, of it is land and of it, 10.98%, is water. As of the census of 2000, there were 5,230 people, 2,203 households, and 1,445 families residing in the city.
the population density was 860.1 people per square mile, 332.1 per square kilometer. There were 2,493 housing units at an average density of 410.0 per square mile, 158.3 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 89.7% white, 3.1% African American, 3.3% Native American, half a percent Asian, 0.1% Pacific Islander, 0.6% from other races, and 2.7% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.8% of the population. There were 2,203 households out of which 29.4% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 52.6% were married couples living together, 9.0% had a female householder with no husband present, and 34.4% were non-families. 30.6% of all households were made up of individuals and 14.6% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.31 and the average family size was 2.88. In the city, the population was spread out with 24.0% under the age of 18, 8.9% from 18 to 24, 27.2% from 25 to 44, 21.6% from 45 to 64, and 18.4% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 38 years. For every 100 females, there were 92.4 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 90.5 males. The median income for a household in the city was $30,653, and the median income for a family was $37,731. Males had a median income of $30,485 versus $22,039 for females. The per capita income for the city was $16,924. About 10.4% of families and 14.0% of the population were below the poverty line, including 16.2% of those under age 18 and 11.0% of those age 65 or over. The city is home to Charles Machine Works, which is the headquarters and manufacturing facility of Ditchwich Machinery and employs over 1,300 people. Perry High School is noted for its wrestling program, historically one of the most successful programs in the United States. It has won 56 state championships, including 42 team and 19 dual championships since 1952, and 163 individual state championships. The City of Perry has a Home Rule City Charter form of government since it passed by a vote of the people and was approved by the governor in 2008. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.